You all know by now how to enable a SharePoint versioning in a list. Um, it is by if you go if you check want to check whether the versioning has been enabled in a SharePoint list or not is by clicking on a SharePoint item and you will must have seen the SharePoint versions appearing in the top menu. For us, it's not uh, happening because the SharePoint list uh, for the versioning is being turned off by default. So the versioning has been automatically be turned off by default. So to turn on, you can go to the settings, go to versioning settings and enable the version and you can put how many versions you want and click OK. Then you come back to the main list and select an item. Then you will see the version history. Yeah. So if you click the version history and there's only one version because we have just enabled it. Let's try to make a small change. Okay. Let's make it to 15. Save it. Okay, it's saved. Let's see the version. Okay, that is another version. So, uh, so these are this is called versioning. So each and every change we make will be saved as a new version. Okay, by default, every SharePoint list, custom list, the share versioning settings is turned off until now. So recently, Microsoft made a change uh, in the mid-February 2021 that all the new SharePoint lists that's been created will be turned on by the by default. So if you create a new SharePoint list from now on, all the versioning settings will be turned on. So the versions will be turned on by default. So but this list has been I have created uh, earlier. That's why the versioning has been turned off. Let's say let's go ahead and create a new SharePoint list and see how it's happening. Yeah. Okay, click new list. I'm gonna click a blank one. Let's test if the versions are on or off. Okay, let's click create. Okay, it's created. Let's go to the settings. The settings and go to the version settings. And you can see the versions has been turned on by default and the version numbers is 50. Yeah. So if you go back here and try to create a single item. Test one first save and click and the versions has been turned on okay let's check one more time let's make another change save go back here and check another version and you can see it's been turned on so uh, so this is a new change from microsoft implemented on the 16th of february 2021 so by default if you create a new sharepoint list the versioning will be turned on so if you don't want the users to be using this functionality, you have to go in and turn it off. But you can, you, you, you can uh, by the default, that versioning numbers is 50, as I showed you here. If you go to the list settings, version settings, the default version is 50. If you want, you can able to increase it. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you like it, please hit a thumbs up and follow my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.